Robin with Robin Stampin' Hood. How is everybody tonight? Hey, Penny. Hi, Kathy. All right, I'm going to make sure we're... I can never quite get you guys straight in there. I think we're good, though. So, it's almost the end of celebration. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sad. But you have eight days left, you guys. Eight days days left make sure you join my team if you've been thinking about it I know some of you are out there thinking about it and it's a really great deal if you just want to be a kidnapper hey go for it that's all we care about that you come and have fun and you enjoy what you love which for all of us doing this it's the paper crafting right and the stamping and the creating and Oh my gosh, so don't forget about that. That ends on February 28th for $129. You get this cute little embossing machine along with $175 of your choice and product. Or you can do the same thing but get the white one. But why would you want the white one when you could get the cute boho blue one? Or you don't have to get the machine at all. Say you already have the machine then um, it's only $99 and you get $175 in your choice of products that you want from out of the current catalogs, off the clearance rack, whatever your heart desires. So keep that in mind. It ends. I would love, love, love for you to join my team. We really have a lot of fun together. And um, so far I have three people that joined this time. So I'm super excited for them to be with me. Um, so that's one thing. Let's see. Anything else going on? Um, just remember, if you haven't gone out to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to that and share away everything that you see um, as I try to still continue to build my business. And I appreciate you all so very, very much. Okay. Uh, I think that's about it. And let's get started with the project. Say hi if you're out there. Hi, Jackie. Oh my gosh, it's 82. It was 40 something here today, but tomorrow it is going to, at the end of the evening, start spitting and growling and we're going to have two days of ugly. So not looking forward to that. Okay. So, um, my stamp club has to make swaps every other month. And so I kind of theme them for them to say, okay, Let's do, you know, masculine cards this month or anything goes this month or birthday cards. Well, someone came up with the idea, <clears throat> Jamie, that um, they want to do cards just using scraps. So I'm going to do a card tonight um, using our scraps. You know, we have tons and tons and tons of scraps. And this is going to be my challenge for you guys this month, okay, that I want you to create the card and then by next Monday, which is, what, what is today? Today is the 20th. So next Monday by the 27th, make sure before my live, before my live, so by 6 o'clock on Monday the 27th, I think that's right, right? Yeah, because today is the 20th, so it would be the 27th. Um, make sure you post in Robin's Hood of Mary Makers, my group, my private group. If you're not a part of it, ask to join, and I'll let you in. Um, and post what you've made for this challenge, and then I'll do a giveaway like I did last time. So yay, yay, yay. Oh, we got lots of people joining us. Hey, Angie. Oh, Angie, Lucy, you'll be excited. They'll be winning next, next Monday. <laughs> hey, Mary Beth. Okay, so are you ready? Okay, now, oh yeah, because Mary Beth's a big scrap hoarder, like when she goes from this world, we're going to have to go and dig out all the scraps out of her house. <laughs> I just gave her a big envelope of them, too. Okay, so we were playing this weekend, of course. Oh, I did forget to tell you. Uh, first weekend in March, I'll be down in Rockford at the Stamp, Scrap, and Art Tour Show. So definitely come by. I have so much stuff, you guys, that I'm selling that is retired uh, just, oh my gosh, I was up all late last night going through stuff and tagging it, and I don't even, I haven't even touched a quarter of it. So come, come visit me. 
Uh, I'll post a thing out there as soon as I get something with, I think there last year there was like get a dollar off or something like that to come in. But anyways, we were making samples and I had like a bunch of these scraps left over. And um, trending right now are these cards. So this is the first card I saw. So super simple. Now I don't have any embellishments on this, which I'm always yelling at you guys, embellish it, right? So I have to, I'll have to figure out what kind of embellishment to put on here. But this is the um, that set from the, the main catalog. I think it's called He's the Man. Uh, let me look. But it comes with die cuts. Yeah, He's the Man. It's 12 by 12 designer series paper. And in it, you get die cuts and a couple sheets of die cuts. And so this is one of the die cuts. And then this is some of the paper. So these are squares, obviously. They're one and a quarter by one and a quarter. So 1.25 by 1.25. And there's six of them. Now, this was the first card I saw, and I thought, oh my gosh, that's so cute and so easy. So now I would add probably something to this, like happy birthday, or, you know, ha go on a great adventure, or something. I don't know. Um, yes, I was, I was, I had this sitting on my desk, and I thought, oh, I could do the same thing with the motorcycle paper, the ready-to-ride paper. So I did this one really quick. And then um, I did one other one. We're going to do one with the scraps I just showed you. But then I did this one with the farm paper that is, you know, still available with Celebration. <laughs> so, and that was all the scraps that I used from that card I showed you guys. Well, I did a couple cards with this paper. So, and I had him die cut out already. And I was like, oh, that would be that's so cute. So that's a good thank you card. I need lots of thank you cards. So um, the next one I'm going to do is a thank you card too. So let me show you what we're going to do. So I've already cut my squares down. So this is two different kinds of paper. So you can kind of see the, um, there's like, in, like glossy raindrops on one side, but I wanted this to be a little bit brighter. So I'm gonna use that side and I'm gonna use that side because these are kind of raindroppy too. And have you guys seen this this sweet? This is in the this is in the mini catalog and um it's called Rain Day Sweet, I think. Am I making that up? Or rain or shine, rain, something like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I wanted to show you really quick, this paper is so cute. So here's just a, a piece that I have left over. I don't know, can you see there's glossy on it? It's embossed. And then of course there's stamp sets that, um, that goes with it, but I didn't pull that. But the dies fit the paper, so you can cut out that stinking cute bunny. You can cut out the little fox. Gosh, someone tell me what the name of this um, suite is. <laughs> I can't remember. And then you can cut out the Adorbs turtle. So isn't that cute? So that's what I did. I cut out a couple of these guys because we're going to use them for... Um, I haven't decided which one. Maybe I'll let you guys vote on that. Should I use the turtle or the bunny? Okay, the only thing I didn't cut was the paper, but this is Flirty Flamingo, so we're gonna do that real quick. Um, hopefully I have it up here because I was running back and forth, up and down. I can't wait to get my craft room done where everything will be there and we'll all be able to work there. So I'm gonna use that as my base, as my Flirty Flamingo. So I'm just cutting it, you know, in half at the five and a half mark, right? Doesn't matter which way you do it. Hey, Stoner. And then the other colors that go with this paper is, let's see. Mm -hmm. Flirty Flamingo, Mango Melody, Old Olive. So I think I'm going to grab some Mango Melody because that would be a good choice. And you guys, I don't know this for a fact, but we might be doing one of our big color things. So I'm not sure though, but do keep in mind if you love the current um, in colors, that's the soft succulent, which was this. That's what I did with this card here. Is the soft succulent? Um, that's the 
one of the in colors that's retiring. So if you like the soft suc succulent, the evergreen, um, is that right? The evergreen? Yeah. What is the other ones? Uh, pale papaya, fresh freesia, and gosh, there's one other one. So there's five in colors that will definitely go away um, coming up soon. Our new catalog comes out May 1st. Can you believe that? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. All right, so then my second, my layering piece is going to be five and a quarter by four. Okay, so yeah, you're going to have two layering pieces that match whatever fun paper. Yeah, Penny, I've heard rumblings. I don't know that 100%, but I have definitely heard rumblings. So this little white piece of paper, and they did say last time they'd be doing it about every five years or so. So uh, we have not been given that information, but I keep hearing that, and I'm only suspecting it because um, they have some pre-order or they have some online exclusives coming up on uh, March 1st that have some returning colors, Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock. So this white piece is five by three and three quarters, okay? So, uh, let's see, did I score this? I'm just, since I have it out here, I'm just gonna score it. So again, this is gonna be your challenge, you guys. Get some of those scraps, cut them down to one and a quarter by one and a quarter. So 1.25, 1 to 1.25, and um, you're gonna cut out six of them. So we're just, I'm just gonna layer all this stuff right away since we've got it here. And I know you all have those strips laying around. I got rid of a bunch of them <laughs> too. Mary Beth, um, and I will have a lot more to give to her and like I said we're gonna have to maybe get a bulldozer to get her out of all those scraps I don't know. and then we're gonna layer this on top yep yeah. I do not want the snow to come. Do not want it to come. Okay, so then we're gonna take these little pieces and we're gonna, like I said, I could use the other sides if I wanted. Obviously not that side because we've cut all the animals up, but I'm gonna use this. So you just kind of want to randomly um, lay them down like this. Just kind of figure out what's gonna look, look best. Honestly, it's they are just going to be all over the place. Like you're just kind of you're just kind of creating a background with them. So like that to me is fine. And then what should I use? Should I use the This is up for you guys. Should I use the bunny or should I use Mr. Turtle? Personally, I think I like the turtle because he's darker and he kind of pops off of that where the bunny kind of blends in, even though he is cute. I'll have to come up with another little card for him. So what well, you guys vote, bunny or turtle, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and glue these down while you guys are voting. And then whatever you guys pick, that's what I'll do. So of course, like I said, these can be very random. Don't don't think too hard about it. Otherwise you're never gonna get it done. So I'm just making sure the raindrops are going down when I put that on. Because we don't want <laughs> upside down rainbows or raindrops so it can be a little crooked like that too it doesn't matter so yeah you're just creating a background not the Mona Lisa you know what Sage told me about the Mona Lisa she took last semester <laughs> an art appreciation and she said the Mona Lisa was never really a famous painting or was anything that they really talked about. The only reason it became famous is because it was stolen. And I was like, oh, I did not know that. <laughs> See, you send them to college and they learn something. And they pass on the knowledge. So there. So I'm just kind of 
I just kind of randomly did that. Okay, so what did everybody say? Looks like Turtle is the winner. Okay, good. All right. All right, Lucy. So we're going to go ahead and put Mr. Turtel down here. There's a, a joke from years and years ago when I was a kid about <laughs> Mr. Turtel. But now I can't remember what it was and I think there might have been a swear word in it. <laughs> so I better not, I better not say. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. So then I think, should I put, like, I'm, like I said, I'm always needing, you know, uh, thank you cards. So that is so cute, you guys. But I do think we need um, a sentiment, maybe like that. And then we can do a little bow right there. Let's see, what kind of colors do I have for bows? That would be really pretty. Um, hmm. Let's see. I guess I should have planned that a little better, but I see a fun little color that we could use. That will be, and I'll use my bow maker so you can see that. I know Jackie was wanting a lesson on it. And I don't have these for sale, so don't anybody else ask me because I don't have any. I just had an extra one. But I like this. I was given this bow maker by Natalie. And some of you I know that are on my team got some too. So we're just going to make a little bow. I'm actually going to cut that off. Bring it around. That's This is a good little color. You don't need a terribly big bow. Okay, so the challenge is what? You're going to post this on Robin's Hood of Merry Makers, the group and have it posted by next Monday before, by six o'clock, because then I'm gonna put you guys all in my little wheel of names. And let's see, I'm gonna take a glue dot here. This is so cute. I might have to add this to the board, MB. Or maybe I'll do one for the motorcycle. Yeah, we have lots of samples that we were putting together on boards this weekend. So if you come down to Rockford, there's going to be lots and lots of samples to you, for you to look at. Okay. Um, or next weekend, not this weekend. And I'm going to pop this tag up. And this is from the uh, Tailored Tags dies. If you don't have that set, this is a nice set to have for sentiments. Sen sentiments. Sentiments. <laughs> I'm going to put that like that. And oh my gosh, is he stinking cute or what? Okay, so that's your challenge, you guys. Take some of your scraps. And these are the three cards that I did. And I copied that from Karen Titus. And you're going to go ahead and make a card or two or three, whatever your heart desires. They're so easy. And I know you guys have those scraps all sitting around. Um, so make it, post it. In Robin's Hood of Merry Makers, and I'll enter you into a drawing for some um, free embellishments. And that's it, you guys. Uh, thanks for joining me for a little bit, and I hope everybody has a very nice evening. And I hope you can weather the storm. Happy stamping! Don't forget, celebration ends in eight days.